For more than a decade, Google's Street View cameras have been recording the world around us. Street View over the years has gone to literally every corner of the planet. We've gone to dense urban areas, we've gone to the tops of mountains, we've taken it underwater, we've taken it to islands populated primarily by uh, sheep, we've taken it to the International Space Station. Now there's a new camera rig on the road that will capture our world in greater detail than ever before. On the top, you'll see the rosette. Um, in the past, the ball was about this big, and now um, we've went from 15 cameras down to seven cameras. There are 20 megapixel uh, sensors behind each one of these lenses. Expect sharper, more contrasty images and fewer stitching errors like these from Santa Cruz, California, one of the first places the new cameras have recorded. The two cans in the front and the back are laser radars, and those are used to, to position us in the world. Um, and then down here is the, is the side-looking HD cameras, which are designed for picking up business names and street signs. That data is then analyzed by Google's artificial intelligence, which has learned to know what parts of an image warrant the most attention. This is an actual example of a real street view image taken in Brazil of a business, a tire shop, I actually think. In addition to actually being able to pull out useful information like what these words are, it does something a little neat. It realizes the title in this case, and I'm going to screw up the pronunciation because I don't speak Portuguese, but is Zelina Noose. But it manages to actually ignore uh, the brand names, the phone numbers, stuff like that that's kind of spurious. And what's interesting about that is that's kind of what a human is doing too. Uh, one of the other nice things that the attention mechanism allows you to do is uh, this model is able to learn uh, kind of almost in an end-to-end -end sense uh, what normalized text looks like. So in this particular situation, it's learned that when it sees AV on a street sign, what we typically care about is the word Avenida. Uh, P-R-E-S period typically refers to Presidente, at least in this market. This sort of image recognition applied to mapping can not only make for more accurate directions, but it can also help keep up with rapid growth and change in megacities like Lagos, Nigeria. The Lagos uh, work was actually a really neat application of a number of these pipelines that we've built, some of them deep learning based, that allow us to look at a couple of different inputs, including street view imagery, and very quickly populate the map in areas where otherwise we might have to spend an awful lot of protracted effort. What Google is doing here is what Google has always done, and done so well. It's indexing. People expect that we've indexed the world's websites and generally at the world's information. Uh, indexing the world's spaces is actually a far more challenging pro problem, even if people have the same expectation of us. So by being more able to deliver on those expectations by putting the power in people's hands, uh, we think that we can, we can have happier users. Now Google wants you, the public, to help by contributing street views of your own. Thanks to an explosion of relatively inexpensive 360-degree cameras, nearly anyone can contribute their own fresh images to Google Maps. The newer cameras are, are now increasingly capable of 360 video capture at higher resolutions. And so with the Street View app, what we've done is really lean into that by allowing you to collect video, 360 video on the go while you're driving, biking, walking, whatever it may be, and actually just collect a ton of individual 360 photos from that, uh, stringing that back together into the traditional Street View experience that you're familiar with from something like this. One caveat, Google won't automatically scrub user-generated captures to blur out faces, but you can choose to do so in the app. Always make sure that you respect the, the privacy tensions and requests of anybody that you're passing by. A lot of people don't want to be uh, in public imagery. So record carefully, knowing that your contributions will help Google in its quest to index the world and maintain its maps dominance. We see our job on the Google Maps team as building a data set that helps really capture all the knowledge and understanding of the real world and bring that into digital form. And a lot of what we're doing, whether it's with Street View, with our user-generated content, um, and the ability for people to contribute their own knowledge and understanding, is really helping to build a deeper data set of knowledge about the world so that when people come to Google and ask questions about the world around them, we have more and more of the answers.